See that? What? She ignored me completely. That would be so. Well, in a couple of days, no one will ignore me. They'll all be staring at the fag from the safe six ad. And as well as getting the crap kicked out of me, I'll never have another girlfriend again. Well, you must have some money. What about all your work from Sydney? And the undies catalogue? They must have paid you by now. You've seen my new trainers, my new game centre, my new clothes? Hunter. Hunter. <laughs> well, maybe you could sort out a payment plan. Polly might let you pay her back over time. Yeah, like five bucks a week for the rest of my life. Good idea, Soph. I'm sure she'll go for it. At least it's something. Okay, don't tell Dad, but I've got some money saved up from birthdays and Christmas. Yeah? How much? A few hundred bucks. You could put it towards your first payment. And where am I going to get the rest? Because I'm sure as hell never going to have another modelling job. Wake up, Sophie. This isn't pocket money. This is 20 friggin' grand. I swear, today hasn't been so bad. I've been working hard and keeping out of his way. Okay, but if he puts one foot out of place, you come straight to me, understand? Yes, but I'm sure that won't be necessary. Officially, she should really go to Scotty. What? He is the nurse manager, Maya. Not until tomorrow. In the meantime, it's my responsibility. I.e., if Craig bullies you, tell Maya and she'll nail his grumpy butt. Come on, guys, don't you think it's a little extreme? You've changed your tune. I thought you were going to have a word with him yesterday. Yeah, well, that didn't really work out. Mm, imagine my surprise. Give the guy a break. Everybody in this room has stressed out and had a meltdown at some point or another. We all have bad shifts. Doesn't mean you should send a lynch mob after the pool, though. I agree. So, in the meantime, we're supposed to grin and bear it like we did with Brenda. Look where that got us. There is nothing wrong with insisting on a bit of respect. That is such a crock, Maya. Craig is the biggest nurse's advocate in this place. He's always supported us. So maybe now we should support him. Show a little patience. Are you sure you can't do a better rate? I know it's a second mortgage, but that does seem... I'm sorry, I'm just going to have to call you back. Bye. Well, at least we know where he gets the sneaking around from. I was just exploring our options. Nothing's signed, nothing's been organised. I was going to discuss it with you tonight. Oh, thank you, darling. I'm not going to apologise, Callum. This is our son. I'll try anything I can to protect him. Oh, no. This is our son. Does Hunter know? He will find out soon enough. I thought the photos on the web were bad, but this is... I can't even describe this. Sorry. Thought it better coming from me. Let me call the bank back. We could get the money and stop the next distribution. Please, Cal. Don't make him live with us. It'll haunt him forever. I want you to talk to a friend of mine. The cook will be getting paranoid. Oh. <laughs> Any news? Nothing from Tony. Nothing from the PI. It's, it's a uh, waiting game now. Must be help. Speaking of which, how's it going in ED? It has its moments. A few licks of the whip and we'll soon be in shape. Anyway, you've got enough on your plate. You leave all the worrying about that to me. I might take you up on that. Tea. What is it? Open it and see. It's our first official family portrait. It's great, thank you. Actually, it's to say sorry for this morning. You told me you weren't close to your parents. I shouldn't have pushed you. It's no big deal, don't worry about it. Yes, it is. My lot may be mad and annoying, but they've never let me down. I tend to assume everyone else is as lucky as me. Hey, I'm the lucky one. Thank you for this, it, it means a lot. Oh, I nearly forgot, there's been a development. What? A restaurant for the wedding, friend of a friend, excellent deal. Restaurant, uh, sounds big and expensive. With my know-how and contacts, we can make it amazing. <laughs> I don't care if we spend the next six months on bread and water, we deserve it. Well, if it makes you happy. I am deliriously happy, because I love you. I love you too. <laughs> right, uh, just keep that arm covered. Set. It depends on the way, Dr. Weston, no need to stress. Um, it's not bed pants. I hope you don't think that I'm sticking my nose in, but if I mentioned your problem. To fear of flying. That. Have you considered hypnotherapy? Uh, if you're interested, I can recommend someone really good. Oh, 
Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to upset you. Oh, you didn't. Uh, it's just... Yvonne just been really kind. I'm oh, sorry, this is very embarrassing. You know how it is once you start, you can't stop. Well, um, a fear of flying can be very stressful. If you want, I've, I've got a couple of minutes. We could have a chat, a cup of coffee. Oh, I'm busy. Big pants can wait. You didn't have to walk me all the way back. Why, well, you're looking far too gorgeous to be allowed to walk alone. Let me give us a kiss. What? Libby, wait. I'm in a really good mood, Claire. I don't want any of your negativity. Please just hear me out. I've got some stuff that I need to say to you, important stuff. Please, I wouldn't if it wasn't. I'm late back already. Nope. Okay, but it's going to have to wait till after work. So you're sitting in the simulator and you, and you freak out. It's not such a big deal. Come on. It takes a lot of guts to confront your fears. Well, uh, maybe I'm confronting the wrong fear. So there might be something else that's stopping you from flying to Thailand? Could it be what's waiting for you at the other end? Gender reassignment surgery is enormous. It's perfectly natural to be uncertain. Uncertain? I'm bloody terrified. But what I don't understand is why. I mean, every crummy job I've ever had, every bogan yelling abuse on the street was were going to be worth it because I was working towards this. I was going to change, I was going to free myself. But when it comes to the crunch... It's a massive physical and emotional upheaval, Sam. When I mean, anyone facing that would be nervous, fearful. Uh, that doesn't stop people going through with it. Well, maybe you're just putting too much pressure on yourself. Maybe you need some more time to think about it, have some more counselling. Thailand's not going anywhere. How about I take out some more research? Okay, the diverticular abscess has been confirmed. We'll need to shoot him up to surgical. Okay, how about the ankle injury? Where's that at? Ah, uh, he twisted it the other day. Aggravated an old injury. He'll need an HCC form then? Ah, uh, second draw down. Cheers. Get the social worker to go through it with him. They get a bit complicated. Actually, Yvonne's the whiz. She can fill out those puppies in record time. Call the social worker, please. Okay. Craig needs a plaster for his dislocated ankle. I'm waiting for the lab, so you, you lucky girl, you get to do it for me. Yes, I'm still here. Yes, I'll help. I don't know, it's been a while since I did one of those. Pollux, you'll be fine. Don't be coy now. Auntie Alice will be watching. Okay, we'll pop that ankle back in there for you and Shanti will give you a plaster. Big breath in that nitrous, please. <coughs> there you go. All done. Well, I need backslap, thanks. I'll leave you to it. Are you forgetting something? Basic stuff, Shanti. Soft band. Of course. Sorry. Shanti. Yes? I'll be back soon. Do you want me to organise relocation views? Ta. Do you think the boss will notice if I ravage you on the desk? Shush. No, I will not shush. Me and my wife, it's practically legal. Why aren't you at work? I swap shifts. I thought we could catch up on some wedding planning tonight. That or more ravaging. Oh, as lovely as that sounds, Chris is a bit behind and I have to help him. OK. I'll wait for you then. No, you'll distract me. Go home. I'll be an hour tops. Oh, yeah, but then I'll be stuck with more tissue. Claire, what have you done now? Nothing. Oh, lucky you. I've been summoned for a talk tonight. You need to stop pandering to her. She's not happy. I don't want to be mean. So instead you put up with her silly, jealous ravings. How's that fair? I know. That is the price we pay for being the happiest couple in the world. No show. Sure.
Wow. I mean, <laughs> wow, this is, this is huge. How did you pull it off? The bank has agreed to a second mortgage. Oh. Now, the posters have been delivered locally, but it's enough to get the campaign pulled from the rest of the country. The local ones, we will try and get recalled. You might have to wear a bit of flat for a while, but it's the best we could do. I don't know what to say. Well, thank you would be a good start. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Mum. <laughs> Sucking up to your sister would be good too. She won't be thrilled when she finds out fashion TV's going. No. And there will be no holiday in the islands this year. And you two will have to start pulling your weight, OK? Cooking, cleaning, that sort of thing. Your father and I will be picking up extra shifts at the hospital. It'll be tough, but it's worth it, Hunter. This is what families are about. When one of us falls over, we work together to pick up the pieces. No. Um, unless you have a better idea and an extra 20,000 stuck up your sleeve, you are going to have to wear this, my son. Well, it's my screw-up. It's not fair that you and Sophie should have to suffer. I'd reserve judgment till I saw the posters if I were you. Yeah, thanks, Mum, but my mind's made up. You know, I took on that stupid job and now I'm going to have to suffer the consequences. Can't be as bad as all that. Apologies, but it means your little chat will have to be postponed. I'm going so soon, that's a shame, because I want to have a little chat of our own. Get your hands off No, I don't think so. Because your tragic little supper time attempts are really starting to annoy me. What the hell is this? This? This is a phone record. It proves that you never called your parents. And this is a bank statement that shows all the money that you transferred to Sutin. I'm showing Libby everything. You bitch. You miserable, vindictive bitch. I don't want to do this. I don't want to hurt you, Karen. I love you. I love you so much. And I'll get rid of the passports and everything. Just don't marry her. <laughs> I'll marry this instead. This is getting boring, Claire. You know, I really think you're losing your mind. What are we going to do with you? hands off. No! I will not let you ruin things for me and Libby. <laughs> There's more drama on the wards tomorrow at a quarter to twelve, but at the weekend, the restaurant is where it's at as a new season of Raw gets underway on Sunday at 9.30 here on RTE1.